Hi, I'm Paul Roberts, and this is Conscious Counseling 101. And today, this is going to be a really unusual one for me. I'm going to wing it like I do everything else, using streaming consciousness and answering it. I've thought about it a little bit because I got up really early today, and I was thinking about it while I was cleaning the house and doing other chores. But I'll just read some of this, I think, and then I'll just respond. So, uh, it says, Hi, Coach. Just stumbled upon your generous offer. I think you're referring to the fact that I don't charge for my services, and you're correct about that. However, he tells me a little bit about himself. Special needs person here with about a half dozen or so disabilities that make life an increasing challenge. He says that he can be an intricate spoke in the wheel, an invaluable piece of the puzzle, but can't be the whole wheel or the whole puzzle. He says, I'm not an island unto myself. I only seem to be blessed with helping create success with an appropriate support team to work with, and I haven't been able to orchestrate finding one in a really long time. Yet I somehow keep winning awards. Eight hey, just last year. My struggle has me running out of time to continue to exist. Very much as in desperately, Need help figuring out how to find an appropriate support team or a reasonably fair and intelligent partner, investor, or investment group to help find and fund an appropriate support team. Ways to make lots of money are quite easy for me, but I can't seem to do it without the appropriate team. Hopefully this is not too much to ask, but your post did seem inviting. So all I have is the idea that I'm not charging for services. A picture that I took 20 years ago, cruising the Pacific Coast Highway of Northern California with my friend Eric. I said, stop the car, look at that perfect image. Let me get out and take a picture of that. Light beams coming through the sky. Conscious counseling. Okay, where do I start? If you'll bear with me, I promise that this will be one of the most sincere videos you've ever heard. Even though it might tell you not what you want to hear, you might still get something out of it, but it's probably not going to be what you thought if you listen to it. I hope that you will. To me, you sent me all these links and these pictures and everything, and you've got all these awards, and uh, you say you're a special needs person. I, I assume that's you in some of the photographs, and you're older. I'm getting older myself. Um, to me... You look very successful. In the eyes of the world, you look very successful. And some of the things that you do and people talking about you, you look and sound very successful. I am also very successful. However, the type of success that you have, I assume, I don't know that much about you, I haven't really researched you or anything, and the type of success I have are two completely different things. And so I am going to go out on a limb here and talk to you in a way that you might have never heard. But it's the only way I can relate to you in a way that I think would be the most prevalent, poignant way that I could. And I'm going to talk to you religiously. And I hope that doesn't turn you off. I know sometimes it does. But I have to tell you where I'm coming from and what I do and why I do it and how I see myself, in order for me to be verified as a worthy coach to tell you what you could do. Let me start with a, an old quote. A life, I, I, you're, you're much more traveled than I am, I'm sure, and you've probably already heard this, but a life of a thousand years can be a tragedy. A life of a single day can be a triumph. Now, I'm going to descend into the world of Jesus' teachings for a moment here so that you'll understand where I'm coming from. I don't know if Jesus exists. I'm not going to push him on you. But we can, be, I'm sure as a successful person, you know you can find all kinds of valuable tidbits in everything you're looking for, and you use your own capacity to understand it and make it work, right? Well, I do that too. But I do happen to believe that this is one of the higher level teachings, teachers, people that the world's ever seen, and I believe that he is what he says he is. But that's neither here nor there. Well, one day, his followers were walking along, and he overheard them, 
and they were saying, you know, various things like, who among us do you think is the greatest? And Jesus stops them and says, stop, stop. This is not the way that you're to be. The Gentiles lift people up and esteem themselves and find ways and systems to make it where a person who is successful rises to the ranks and they're placed there because those people believe that what they have is success and they put them there and they want to shine down on all the rest of them and kind of serve as an example. But then he says, but you are not to be this way. Now he, he talks about his disciples, he talks about his people, but I've claimed it as my own, even though I'm not that people. He says, you're not to be that way. You're not to be like the Gentiles. For to be the greatest amongst yourselves, you must be the least, the servant, the one that gives the most. I am trying very hard to be successful, but not in the same ways that you have done. Now, I don't know what your motives are, and I don't know what your path and background is, but I am virtually nothing. And I'm trying every day to become more nothing. So if I have something to offer you that is unique, that you may not find other places, it's out of a, a road that's very rare, that very few have traveled, and I'm not troubled by it. Like I said, I believe I'm a very successful person. But in the contrast of the way that I'm successful and what I just talked to you about a moment ago, what I would offer you is to say, you have already achieved all that you need to achieve. Every day that comes to you, you can continue down that path. You may get that support group. I can't offer it to you unless you see what I'm saying as a support group. <laughs> and maybe you will, who knows? <laughs> Anything's possible. What you have to realize is that if you continue down the road, you will accumulate more accolades, more awards, more money, more wealth. You will probably do better, even if you don't get that support team. In the eyes of mankind, you are already successful. And I, as an artist and a person that has visual acuity, can appreciate the work that you do. And I just want to say, great job. I just want to offer this other point of view. Now, let's say you do do well. Or let's say you say, hey, Paul, I've never heard anybody like you talk like that. I want to make you a part of my team. <laughs> I'm not looking for money. I do want my content and my rare road to mean something to somebody one day. And I do think that one day something might dawn on someone else that has the ability to allow me to help and be more effective than I may be. But I have to be very, very cautious and not use that in a way that would corrupt the very thing that I'm trying to do in the first place. The best example I can think of is Louis Armstrong. Everybody knows Louis Armstrong. He's one of the greatest musicians, greatest jazz musicians ever. And you know what he said when he was offered managerial team skills, whatever? He said, just pay me a thousand dollars a week. Just keep us working. That's all I want is to share my music and to make sure I have the money I need. You keep anything else you make. <laughs> I would want to aspire to that if you saw me as helpful in any way, shape, or form. Also, another person that I aspire to is the priest in Les Miserables. And Jean Valjean. But the priest took and offered when he was stolen from first, the candlesticks. But when he was returned back and he saw that he was going to be thrust in, Jean Valjean was going to be thrust back into the prison camp that he was and whatever, he said, I, no, I'm, he didn't take those. I gave them to him. And after the police had left, he said, with these, I gave you another chance to show that everybody in the world isn't about money and success, to show that there's another way to have success. Go and live that out. And so the priest and even Jean Valjean, by example that he learned from that priest, is my example, other than the one I gave you that you maybe can relate to, Louis Armstrong. So what I would say to you is, be glad of what you have. Be glad of who you've touched. 
do everything every day so that you're not thinking of a grander picture, but you're more valuing what you already have and asking yourself, is there anything you can tweak not to get better or bigger? Is there anything you can tweak to give part of this message that I'm giving you now to your viewers if they're not already receiving it? I, I don't, like I say, I don't know. I, don't take me wrong. That would be where I'd put your energies. That would be my coaching. That's not what you want to hear. But that's the most valuable thing in the world. That's the most successful thing in the world. To be a true servant. This is what Jesus showed us by washing the feet of his disciples at the Last Supper. To show that he did not come to be king. Or lead an overthrow. Or reign forever on earth. And have all the good things that earth could bring. His mother rode on a donkey to the place where he was born. He rode on a donkey before he came into Jerusalem. And that's all he wanted to do. He had chances where people would say, lead us, we'll take, we'll give, take whatever orders you give us. Let's overthrow this system. Let's go ahead and let's make you everything you could be. And of course, when he was in the wilderness, I don't know if you're familiar with these things or not. He was also tempted in the same ways by the devil it's written. Now, we don't know if these things are true. I'm not trying to cram it down your throat. But I believe these are some of the largest concepts of success in the world. And I've become no one by following them. I rarely find myself talking to a person like you that the world considers as someone. And you come to me to find out how to be more of a someone and do better with your time that you have left and your special needs. In my most sincere way, I have just spent a few moments talking to you and giving you what is gold, better than gold. And if anything I've said has resonated with you, I'll be glad to talk to you more. But just don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. What you're doing, I'm sure, is helping many people. I would say, t take this on. To whom much is given, much will be expected. But to who shows a valuable way to handle some things, anybody else can give them more things to handle. And then they could do even more. Perhaps what I'm talking about is more by being less. And perhaps that which you lack is that. And I'll conclude with this. He who loves his life Jesus says, will lose it. He who hates his life will gain it onto life eternal. You've already received so many great things from this world, being who you are and what you do. Why not add that final crowning achievement that could be the basis of it, of course, and you'd be going nowhere like me. Why not take the one thing that I have gained that I can offer and add that on to everything that you can be. That would be my life coaching for you. I wish you well and I'll talk to you more if you'd like. I'm Paul Roberts and this is Conscious Counseling 101.